Hi, welcome to Brew Review Winnipeg. I am quite tired, and last time I was this tired, I think I, I think we were doing the Blackbridge Brewing Company Milk Stout. I think Milk Stout. So I don't know where that leaves me, but if I seem off, I think that's why. But um. I'm just going to read some more song lyrics because I don't know what else to do. Hello from the other side! Welcome to Brew Review Winnipeg. Alright then, let's get on with it. The second beer we ever reviewed was the Farmery Premium Lager and it was good. Uh, it was a light beer, like it wasn't a light beer, it's 5% but it tasted very light, it was a very mild flavor. It was very didn't leave much impression on me to be honest it was like yeah it's a good beer you know no aftertaste really there are some hops there wasn't really crisp wasn't really bright it was just a lager uh so we're gonna see how it held up over the last two years but then also they put out this new thing called the blonde canadian pale ale so we're gonna see how different these two beers are I mean, aside from the obvious color scheme. This one's unfiltered, I believe this one is as well. It'll be interesting to find out how they compare, how they stack up against one another. All right, let's crack these bad boys open. That's right, bad boys. There's two of them. Hmm. I love that sound. There's like no color on this. I remember there being more color. That's kind of concerning. And how about that pour, folks? Mmm. Alright, there's one. Now here's two. Mmm, I love that sound. Now here comes the pour. Much more color. Alright, this is the original Farmery Lager. Let's give Bad Boy number one a go. Very little aftertaste. Mild hops, fairly unremarkable. Pretty much exactly how I remember it. Good, not great. Not really, um, doesn't stand out. Cool. Now, Let's try bad boy number two. Pale ale. Canadian style. There's a big difference between those two. Sweet. Um, looks good. I don't know if you can see that. I like that color. It's real nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, I'll give it an eight. You know, it's, it's good. Um, yeah, it's good. I'll just leave it at that. What were we doing again? Oh yeah, review. About what? Oh yeah, farmery. The hops are pretty good in this. I like it. It's not over overbearing. It doesn't linger. I like that about farmery. It doesn't give you that horrible, you know, sharp breath aftertaste. So in the extra pale, or in the extra pale, in the pale ale, it's pretty good. I like this. Uh, Farmery, for me, has done a good job with this one. You know, going from something pretty unremarkable to something I like. Well, not huge, but there is a difference, which is good. Yeah, this one is much more full-bodied. It's got a better mouthfeel. Um, the taste is sweet. Um, kind of has like an apple-y kind of aroma to it. Aroma and like mouthfeel as well, like apple tastes like apple, a little bit, not too much. Yeah, as far as a pale ale goes, I would drink this in the summer as well as the winter. It's got enough body to hold up in the snow time. Uh, it's crisp enough to hold up 
I wouldn't say crisp. I'd say it's bright enough to hold up to a winter to a to a summertime. Uh, good job, Farmery. I think you've won my respect a little bit. Just a little bit. Till next time, Winnipeg. Brew on. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if, after all these years, you'd like to meet. To go over everything, they say that time's supposed to heal. Yeah, but I ain't I, 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 I ain't done much healing. I can work with that. Can you?